checkpoints, poorest regions and epidemics epicenters. International organizations carry out their activities in parts of the world where they are critical for people. They unite countries and continents, save millions of lives and solve global problems. Watch more on this in Kazakhstan International Vectors. Trade Disputes – How to Avoid Crisis in the Country the global depression of the 1930s provoked the Second World War. In the 1930s, all the countries were using different price policies. Many year talks are over. Kazakhstan signed an agreement on its membership in the World Trade Organization. Kazakhstan demonstrated a fundamental approach towards entering the WTO. In the middle 1990s, a group of businessmen started to import Italian furniture into Kazakhstan. For the local market, it was really something new. The major part of the goods were mainly consisted of chairs and armchairs. One year later, it became clear that manufacturing furniture independently was much more profitable than purchasing it abroad. The entrepreneurs spent one year studying the manufacturing technology and only after that opened their own production shop. Now it is one of the country's largest plants. Vice President Maksut Omar Berkov remembers that the area of their first production shop did not exceed 100 square meters and the staff consisted of only six people. Primarily, we manufactured five or six types of products. Currently, our line consists of more than 3,000 names of products. We manufacture soft furniture, cabinet furniture, metalware and plastic goods. Maksud says that despite these successes, they should not stop on what has been achieved because the Kazakhstani market continues to develop and dictates new conditions from year to year. What is the WTO and what changes await entrepreneurs after joining of Kazakhstan to the WTO? Coming up next. Nowadays, the world trade market is overfilled with various goods. Its monthly turnover makes up billions of dollars. Enterprises have insufficient capacity to satisfy consumers' appetites and seek the ways of increasing their output. One of them is joining the World Trade Organization since its objective is to help countries to increase the range of goods and services, as well as to preserve favorable business environment and price policies. The World Trade Organization was established in 1995 with the headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. It consists of 161 countries. The WTO's priority tasks include the development and implementation of new trade agreements. The organization also closely monitors the observance of already adopted agreements between all member countries. Many people think that the World Trade Organization regulates prices and trade in general. However, the main objective of this organization is to adjust business standards. Discussing issues and making decisions regarding further development of the world trade take form of multilateral talks or rounds. Intensive discussions continue in the WTO. The Uruguay round was the most successful. It was followed by the Doha round. It is still underway because developed countries keep some of their markets, in particular agricultural markets, closed. In summer 2015, after 19 years of negotiations, Kazakhstan signed the WTO agreement and opened a new page in international trade relations. I think that the accession to the WTO is a big step of Kazakhstan towards those processes which currently occur in the world. Kazakhstan's accession to the WTO was not a surprise for the country. However, debates on this issue are still going on. Some people say that WTO guarantees safe business operation either in the country or abroad. Others are afraid that Kazakhstan will not be able to withstand competition on the market. There are also those who do not make any conclusions, thinking that only time will tell. Nonetheless, the number of entrepreneurs in the country continues to grow. According to Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, the total early-stage entrepreneurial activity rate in Kazakhstan reaches almost 14%. 13.7%. The business closure rate makes up about 
2.9%. In general, the country demonstrates positive attitude towards entrepreneurship as 70% of population consider it a good profession. Kazakhstan's accession to the WTO for Maksud Omarbekov was expectable. Over the last years, local entrepreneurs were intensively prepared for this step, he says. Along with that, he considers that such changes provide for them additive impetus to retain their customers, be competitive and maintain the optimal quality price ratio. It took our company 20 years to enter the office furniture market. In other words, we have been waiting for this moment for two decades. And nowadays, businessmen continue to act. Loyal price policy, maximum customers and increasing of the Kazakhstani content in marketed goods are only some of the instruments. Earlier, we purchased some components in Italy and China. Now we produce them ourselves from plastic. By now, we reduce the cost of our products three to five times. We can say that we're a socially oriented company. We try to make our furniture affordable for ordinary people. How do WTO members protect their economies and how many workplaces will be created in the world? Coming up next. The preconditions towards the creation of the World Trade Organization could be observed as early as in 1929 in times of the global economic crisis. Beginning from 1944, international organizations joined their efforts to create the foundation for a new economic order. The WTO was a sort of idea to establish a peace-promoting organization after the World War II. After the establishment of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, a need emerged to establish the World Trade Organization. It took almost half a century to establish an international organization which, along with the regulation of trade turnover, could defend the intellectual property rights of its member countries. So, in the period from 1986 to 1994, within the framework of the Uruguay Round, the agreement establishing the World Trade Organization was signed. Everything was based on the hypothesis that nations trading between each other should not enter in a war. Those who have commercial relations put too much at risk if they begin war. After the WTO was established, prices gradually went down. Benefit from trading and do not enter into a war. This is the slogan of the WTO. The organization constitutes a code which regulates more than 92% of the global trade. Experts think that Kazakhstan's accession to the WTO is a logical step towards the country's development, increasing the competitiveness of domestic entrepreneurs and strengthening of the internal market. Now it is time to provide a strong impetus for Kazakhstan for its integration on a higher level. It can be the accession to the WTO, SCO or close cooperation with its strategic partners. The WTO's work is based on five main principles. The most important of them is the equality of rights or in other words, when concessions granted to one of members automatically extend to the rest. However, member countries with small and vulnerable economies are not always capable to compete with market giants. Experts confirm that Kazakhstan needs to revise a number of protecting mechanisms because the WTO membership implies a constant upholding one's own rights on the global market. It is important because the WTO is a club of rich countries and a club of all the countries. Developing countries mainly produce agricultural goods and want these markets to be open for them. Businessmen of Kazakhstan tend to access to the world market. For example, the domestic furniture is already being sold in Russia, Maksud says. Soon they plan to enter the Iranian market. Currently, this cooperation is already bearing fruit. Just imagine that 20 years ago we employed five or six people. 
Currently, our staff consists of about 2,000 people. History demonstrates that trade disputes often trigger war conflicts. The 1930s trade war is one of the best examples. Fierce competition on the world market and creation of trade barriers were aggravated by the Great Depression, which finally played its role in unleashing the World War II. The World War II was the most horrible event and one of its reasons was that countries hadn't established trade relations between each other. Europe did not have trade relations with America, Japan and other developed countries. Instead, trade development, they closed their markets. Nowadays, the World Trade Organization is based on principles which not only create unimpeded movement of trade flows, but also allow to find a peaceful resolution of conflicts on independent platforms. Along with that, since accession of Kazakhstan to the WTO, the inflow of new players is expected to the local financial market. Even now, experts expect that competition will ensure the increasing of product range and improving the quality of domestically produced goods. I think consumers will always be the winners of trade within the framework of the WTO. The lower our import prices, the higher is the consumption level. Nowadays, it is clear that any production line comprises some imported ingredients. Whereas for consumers, the World Trade Organization means, first of all, the expansion of product range, for businessmen it means competition. Countries with developing economies often lose the battle for markets. To cover that eventuality, the WTO operates mechanisms which protect local entrepreneurs against collapse. A lot of economically developed countries, like for example South Korea, protected their markets by means of special agreements and tariffs. It is called infant industry protection. Later, their industries grew and became competitive. After that, they opened their markets. After becoming a WTO member, each country not only opens its boundaries for foreign entrepreneurs, but also accepts international business standards, which also cover the so-called non-tariff barriers. There can be ecological non-tariff barriers, sanitary and epidemiological non-tariff barriers, and so on. Experts affirm that despite the fact that after a session to the WTO a country will have less control upon business environment, the emerging opportunities have much positive impact on its economy. Indeed, the conditions for doing business in the native country are practically becoming as equal as abroad. First of all, it is beneficial for Kazakhstan, which can act as a logistical hub in the intercontinental trade, in particular within the Silk Road project. For Kazakhstan, it opens big opportunities. And it depends on our government and ourselves how we shall use these opportunities. International practices demonstrate that a suitable trade policy facilitates solving the problem of unemployment. Lowering of trade barriers gives a possibility to many businessmen to enter foreign markets. This, in its turn, favors the expansion of product range. The number of workplaces is rapidly growing in different parts of the world. According to experts' forecasts, by 2030 the labor market will increase by a half a billion workers. It is expected that only in India the quantity of workplaces will increase by 143 million, in China by 65 million, in the US by 12 million and in the EU by 8 million people. By 8 million workers.